Hello, thank you very much for joining this video. Here we'll explore the Reach Text section for your Shopify store. So first of all, we need to go to our theme customizer and then we need to choose the page where we'd like this section to be located. So keep in mind that you can actually add this section to any page that you'd prefer. But for our example, let's stay on the home page here. So first we need to scroll down to the add section button here. And from here, we need to find our Reach Text section. So once we add this section, here it is, we need to click on it to customize it. So here we have the heading, we also have the subheading and the text. We can also change the text alignment. So for example, we can align it to the left here, to the right here, or keep it in the center like here. Next, we can also choose the section alignment. So we have the text and the section in the center. If we change it to the left here, as you can see, or to the right, like here, but let's keep it in the center. So next we have the enable read more button. So this enable this feature to uh, truncate text and show read more button. So right now we have just one sentence in here. So for example, if we uh, were to add more text in here, but we don't want to uh, fully show it here, we can simply click on enable read more button. And as you can see, uh, the text is now shrinked and we have the read more button by clicking on which we see more text. So let's add here some more of this text. So here, this section is very useful as you can use it as a mini blog post, for example, if you want to share some information with your clients about uh, maybe about your brand or your products, uh, you can also uh, disable the read more button and simply advertise maybe your Instagram or um, your YouTube here. So we can just add the heading, for example, follow us. And we can also remove the subheading. And in the text here, we can, as you can see, we can link uh, certain text. So we can add follow us on Instagram. And now let's give it just a second. Okay, here, as you can see, we can also, for example, add um, something like follow us on, on YouTube. Okay, and then we can also link these texts here. So for example, let me go to our uh, theme menu. Here I'll find our links. So for example, we have this Instagram link. We can link this whole text or we can simply uh, link uh, the Instagram word itself. And once we insert the link, we can choose to add the external or internal links. So for external links, we need to add HTTP. Uh, it's mandatory for the link to work properly. Or if we want to add an internal link like within our store, we just need to simply click here and choose what we'd like to connect. So we can add collection, just choose any collection that you want from here. We can also connect a certain product, just click on product and here are our products. We can also add the page like FAQ, contact us regarding your shipping and returns. We can also add the blog or blog posts. But for this example, let's add our Instagram page here. We can also choose it to open in the new window. Now let's click on insert. And now, as you can see, we have this, uh, this linkable text here. Uh, then let's also add the YouTube channel. Let's do the same way. So we choose this text here. We click insert link. We add the link here. And then we click on insert. As you can see, uh, the text of uh, the color, the text of our link is in this mint color. So if you want to change the color, you can easily do so via the theme settings. So for now, let me save these changes here. 
let's just save it now. And then we'll go to the theme settings here. Then we go to the colors. And here in the colors, we can choose the color of the links. Give just a second. We see the text colors. And as you can see, this is the color of the link. So you can customize this color from here. So you can uh, choose the color in the style of uh, your store, for example. So feel free to just choose any color that suits you the best for, uh, for these links here. Now let's just adjust uh, these changes. Give it just a second. And here, as you can see, we now have the text with the change to the color. And keep in mind that from here, you can change it to any color that you want. So let's go back to our section here. So keep in mind that you can easily use this section for any purposes. Uh, and uh, next we have this enable read more button, but it's not needed for this section because we just have only one sentence here. However, once we add um, the read more button, we can from here change the button label. So it says you can either say read more or if you use this section to maybe like promote your new collection or your products, you maybe want to change uh, the button to maybe shop now, for example. So we can change it here. And now, as you can see, we have this shop now. Then when we click it, uh, we see the we show less button. So if we have a lot of text in here and we want to show all of it uh, and when we want to hide it back, we have this button that says show less. So from here we can uh, rename it. So show less button label. You can rename it to anything that you'd prefer. And next we have the layout. So we can choose uh, to make the container full white. Uh, or if this section is unchecked, then the container will container white will be set according to the theme settings layout to this container white, which is right now set to medium 1680 pixels. And you can choose to use the small white or the larger one. So now let's return to our section. And the last thing that we have are the offsets for the desktop and for the mobile version. So these are these offsets, the um, space between the sections. So right now it's set to 100 pixels. We can change it uh, to decrease this space here and just set it something like here to have a little space between the sections. We can also choose to remove the offset at the bottom like here or instead add it. And the same for the mobile, for the top and for the bottom. So this is how you add this section. Let's now save our changes and let's take a look at our store. So here's our store. We just need to scroll down to the bottom to our newly added section. Here is our rich text section. It says follow us with the links to the Instagram and to the YouTube. So here you can add them from here. I would like to also show you one example of one of our game theme demo stores in the theme style must have. As you can see, uh, this section was utilized in a similar way for this demo store. We see the join us and the Instagram handle of this store, of this brand. So feel free to use this section for promoting your socials or you can also use this section to show your maybe new collections or new products. It is very easy to do so. We just change the heading to, for example, new collection from here. You can also, of course, add the subheading um, specifying what new collection is all about. And in here we can add some text, for example, explore the new collection by our um, brand or call it in any way you want. And we can just simply choose all of this text, choose the insert link. And instead of external link, we just click here go to collections. And for example, choose this collection here. We can also choose it to show in the new window and just save our changes. And then everything is 
ready to use. Thank you very much for your time. These were all of the instructions on how to set the rich text section. Also keep in mind that you can add more than one rich text section to your store. You can easily add the second and just tackle them throughout your store. And if you have any questions regarding our theme, feel free to contact our support team. We're always here to help. And don't forget about our theme manual where you can also find all of this information in here. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day. Bye.